Amazon versus Flipkart. Which platform do you prefer for shopping online? In this year's festive season, Flipkart and its group companies, Mantra and Shopsy, maintained a lead during the e-commerce festive season sale with a share of 62% in terms of gross merchandise value, followed by Amazon which was around 26%. But Amazon India seems to have a different opinion about the reports made by Red Sea as Amazon stated that it has received the highest ever orders during the 12 days of the Amazon Great Indian Festival. They also made an announcement. Well, Amazon India and Flipkart have been rivals for a long time. So these type of comments coming from the competitors are not a big surprise, especially when both of them are equally competitive. In this video, let's talk about some interesting things about these two e-commerce giants. The founders of Flipkart are Sachin Bansal and Bini Bansal. Guess what? They both used to work for Amazon. Sachin joined Amazon in 2006 as a senior software engineer and a year later he bought his high school friend Bini Bansal to Amazon as well. In 2007, they both resigned and decided to play with their own ideas. They decided to start a comparison shopping website that can compare prices of different products across different websites and help the customers get the best value of their money. While doing so, They soon realized that the websites they are using for their reference were really bad. After a little experiment, they thought of giving up the idea of the comparison shopping website and started thinking about building a better e-commerce website that can provide an amazing user experience for the customers. And from here, just with 4 lakh rupees, Amazon's business model in India got replicated and innovated and that's how Flipkart came into existence in 2007. So, let us first understand what is antitrust law. Antitrust laws are designed to protect and promote competition within all the sector of the economy. It encourages competition by limiting the market power of any particular firm or limiting a firm to form a monopoly. No doubt Flipkart and Amazon are dominating India's e-commerce market. They are the two monopolies. Just because of that, they faced numerous antitrust investigations and many regulations have been imposed to limit their savage erosion. of India's e-commerce market. Due to constant changes in regulatory policies, it has become very troublesome for the companies like Amazon to adjust and operate. In 2014, Bezos visited India, successfully met Modi, who was just elected as Prime Minister, and promised to invest two billion dollars in India, which made him really popular in India. In 2016 and 2017, Modi visited Bezos twice, but within a few years, Bezos' situation changed. On January 15, 2020, perhaps in order to change the mind of the Indian government about the ongoing regulation issues, Bezos visited India urgently. He announced an additional investment of one billion dollars, and two days later, the company also. announced that it will create 1 million jobs in India and he also increased its previously committed investment to 5.5 billion dollars although Bezos showed full sincerity this time he did not even got the chance to meet PM Modi instead of him he met the Indian Minister of Commerce and Industry Piyush Goyal whose statement came pretty straight later as anyone who tries to use the e-commerce market model to enter the multi brand retail space will be questioned and investigated if you deeply think about this change of attitude you will find that it is not because the indian government does not welcome the investment it is because the impact online e-commerce industry will bring to the offline retail industry especially in the countries like india where we have a large number of retailers whose families are totally dependent on the earnings primarily from the small business operations As we all know the majority of the sales are still happening offline due to the low internet penetration rate and the general inclination of indian public to shop offline but because of the population size and increasing internet penetration the e-commerce industry is still massive and will grow even much bigger according to the management consultancy red sea the gmv of the e-retail market is likely to increase to 350 billion dollars in 2030 do you know how much it was last year it was only 55 billion dollars that means still there is a huge growth space in this industry 
but unfortunately the majority market share of this hot industry has been taken by the foreign companies amazon and flipkart are the rulers in this space both of them each reportedly have market shares of over 30% in the country's online retail market well some people will say at least flipkart is a homegrown brand sorry again flipkart's majority stakeholder is walmart and it's registered in singapore not in india so what do you guys think native e-commerce companies will be able to snatch a piece of this huge cake from amazon and flipkart or in order to control further monopolies and protect the retailers the government will definitely come up with some amazing policies don't forget to comment below with your thoughts on it